If you're a guy in college right now, there has never been a better and easier time to be the best dressed guy around. In this video, I'm going to keep it very simple, talk about upgrading some things that you might already own, how to make the most of what you have, and a couple of small upgrades that I would recommend. So let's get right into it and start off with the t-shirt. The t-shirt is such a classic menswear garment, but it's something that most guys get completely wrong. Especially in college, you're gonna see a lot of guys wearing college branded t-shirts, graphic t-shirts, uh, gym clothes worn outside of the gym and in the lecture hall, but it's so easy to get the t-shirt right. The t-shirt is just great for college because it's easy to take care of. You can just throw it in your bag um, they're very compact to pack if you don't have much space in your dorm. I would recommend picking up four or five well-fitting t-shirts in neutral colors like navy, uh, khaki, beige, and white. These will be great for your everyday wear to lectures, either with jeans or chinos. A well-fitting t-shirt is very low maintenance, but it's also super stylish and it can accentuate some of the best features of your body. By well-fitting, I mean it should be quite tight around the shoulders and the arms and show off your biceps, but it should be fairly relaxed and loose around the midriff and not too restrictive. True Classic is the one-stop shop for t-shirts, in my opinion. I'm not sponsored by them, but my personal recommendation would be to pick up three or four t-shirts or even a multi-pack from this store, throw them in your bag, and you are good to go for most of your weekday outfits. I'll put the link in the description to their store and you can check out all the different colors and styles that they have. The second step is to bring a pair of stylish boots. Now, this especially applies to East Coast universities where it gets a little bit cooler, but you could also wear them on the West Coast, especially for evening events and in the winter. Chelsea boots, in my opinion, are the absolute goat because you can wear them with everything from jeans and a t-shirt to a suit. They're always super stylish and sleek. These are the Chelsea boots that I personally own. I think they are unbeatable for less than $100. They're you know real genuine leather. They have a rubber sole that's very comfortable to walk in. They feel very sturdy and robust on your feet, but also elegant. They get lots of compliments. So I would definitely suggest checking out these if you're on a budget. You might also prefer a style such as lace-up boots or chucker boots. These are also great. You know, boots are just gonna be perfect for parties, for date night, but also for day-to-day -day wear. At the lecture hall, it will definitely make you stand out, probably get you lots of compliments from women. The third thing I would pick up as a guy in college is a serious watch. It's definitely something that a lot of guys in college won't have and it will be an easy way to stand out. A lot of guys will be wearing a Apple Watch or perhaps they will be relying on their phone to tell the time, but it's very simple to get a serious, real men's watch, just like this one here. This is from Seiko, the Seiko 5 model. This was only $138. I think this is the perfect men's beginner watch. Very sleek style, nice and sturdy steel bracelet. You could wear this with everything from shorts and t-shirt to a suit. Perhaps you prefer a leather strap. In that case, check out this one from Seiko. $176. I really love the dark face on this one. I think it gives it a very modern look. Or if you're on a super, super tight budget, check out the Timex Weekender. $33. It has a very classic style. It's going to be very reliable and rugged. Uh, it looks great with shorts and t-shirt, especially on those more casual days. The fourth step to being the best dressed guy at college is to master business casual. So college is this transition period from childhood to adulthood and you're gonna be laying down the foundations for your career to come. That will include some networking events and you'll also wanna make a good impression among your professors. Now I just pick up at least one single-breasted blazer, either in gray or navy, that fits you really well. If you're on a tight budget, you will be able to find this at H&M, Zara or Express. If you have a little bit more money to spend, I think it would definitely be worth the investment. I would take yourself down to Suit Supply. The associates in that store will be extremely helpful and friendly to get you the perfect fit, especially if you explain to them what you're looking for, say that you're looking for something to wear to a business networking event and you wanna just have a classic versatile style, they will definitely help you out. At networking events, most guys of your age will be underdressed and look immature, or they will have taken a black jacket from their dad's closet or their own suit and it just won't go and they won't look professional. To top things off, you can throw in a matching pocket square. I'm gonna be doing a video quite soon about wearing a pocket square for beginners, some very 
easy matching tricks that you can remember and how to just keep it simple, not be overly flamboyant, but it will add a little bit of extra spice to your outfit that will help you stand out. And my final tip to be the best dressed guy at college is as simple as ironing your clothes. College is for most of us the first time we do our own laundry and it's an incredibly slobbish time for a lot of guys. They'll be rolling out of bed in crumpled clothes, picking things up off the floor. So an incredibly easy way to stand out in lectures, on dates, at networking events especially, is just to have clean, crisp clothes. This is the iron I use. It's literally $17, that's all you need. You can throw those t-shirts in the drying machine, but your, your dress shirts, your, your chinos, your polo shirts, they need to be air dried and iron. Maybe you'll get teased by other guys in your dorm for ironing, but women certainly won't tease you for it, and there's nothing wrong with taking pride in your appearance, even if the other guys around you aren't doing it. I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to build a community of young gentlemen who take care about their style, their etiquette, and their dating, and they treat women with respect. So if that sounds like a community you want to be a part of, please hit the subscribe button. Interact with me in the comments, let me know what you would like to see in future videos, and I look forward to joining you guys for another video very soon.